Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. If you ever visit my website or even go to my YouTube channel, you'll notice that all the videos have these little thumbnails on them. These thumbnails are often called hero images or they're called featured images. And they're just there to, you know, kind of display what the video may be about and hopefully entice you to click on it. Well, I create these uh, thumbnails, these featured images, these hero images for my website, and they have to be a specific size. And those of you that follow me know that I have a newsletter, and every Monday I send out a newsletter. And in that newsletter, towards the bottom, I have all the videos I did over the week, and I have those same thumbnails or hero images, featured images there as well. Unfortunately, my, we, uh, my newsletter requires that the images be 800 pixels on the long side, whereas my website and YouTube and such uh, use them at 1024 by 576. Uh, technically, uh, YouTube is 1920 by 1080, and I actually create the images in 1920 by 1080, upload them to YouTube that way, and then upload them to my website that way. But WordPress resizes them to 1024 by 576. So that part is done automatically. Unfortunately, uh, my newsletter doesn't do it automatically. So I will have to uh, convert each of these images to um, a different resolution where they're 800 pixels on the long edge. Now I could do that one image at a time, but there's actually something in Photoshop that allows you to do this in bulk. And like many things in Photoshop, it's kind of buried and hidden in menus. So what I have here is on my desktop, I have a folder, I called it Hero Images. And on there is all these different images I did over the last week or so. So um, if I look at them, you could see right there. And they're all um, 1024 by 576. And I need to make sure that that long edge is only uh, 800 pixels. So what I do is I'll go into Photoshop and I'll go up to File, down to Scripts. And what we're looking for is Image Processor right there. So I'll open that up and you can see it kind of looks a little bit busy in here, but it's actually rather simple. First of all, I want to select the folder that my images are in, and the images are in this Hero Images folder. So I'll select that. And then where am I going to put the finished images? And I'll select a folder, and I'm going to create a new folder, and I'm going to call this Newsletter. And this is actually what I do every week, and I call it Newsletter. And we'll put it right there on the desktop. So we're going to take the images from the Im Hero Images folder and convert them. And when they're converted, they're going to go into the Newsletter folder. Now, what file type do I want to use? Well, I want to use JPEG. And I want to convert them uh, with a quality of 10. And I need to resize them. That's why we're doing this. And it just so happens that a 1024 by 576 file, which are the original files, happen to be a 1 to 1.77 uh, ratio. So I need that same ratio here, but I need the width to be 800. Well, it's really easy. It's just 800 by 450. So that I had to do a little math for that, for that resize. And I'm going to convert the profile to sRGB, uh, but they probably are sRGB anyway, but I'll leave it there. But I also could create a second file as a PSD if I wanted to, and a second or a third file as a TIFF file if I wanted to, or I could just not do a JPEG. I could do a PSD all by itself or a TIFF all by itself, and so on. So I could convert these JPEGs, not only resize them and alter the quality of the image, I also then could change the file type from JPEG to PSD and or TIFF. But I'm not going to do that. I also could run an action. If I click that box there and go to this dropdown, you could see you could uh, frame it, put a frame on it, uh, do sepia toning, and uh, stuff like that. Now, I never do that, so we'll leave that alone. And I do add my copyright info to them, uh, which I think is there already, but I add it again. And include ICC profiles, really not needed, but I leave that checked. And that's it. And then I'll just click Run. And when I click Run, you'll see it flash on the screen real quick, and then it disappears. And it's done. So I just converted all these images that were in this Hero Images folder uh, to 800 by 450, and they're inside a JPEG folder because, again, if I would have 
created PSD files and TIFF files, you'd see two more folders there with those images in it. But if I go to, let's say, this affinity.jpg, uh, you could see that it's a little smaller than that other one. And if I look at the file info here, you could see that it's 800 by 450. So it resized them. So that's a way you could uh, do some bulk resizing and um, change the file type in bulk uh, for your images. And then you can add some of those actions uh, that I pointed to, like you can make them all sepia toned or, or something like that. And again, you could convert really any file type into a JPEG, PSD, or a um, TIFF file. And you can work with raw files as well. So you could input a raw file and then output it as a JPEG, TIFF, or PSD file. Uh, so that may help you whenever you need to resize a bunch of images. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.